it's Monday. We got Rizzo in the shop with me today. He's gonna start pulling the alternator part, seeing what's wrong with it. Uh, I had to go get the fuel filters, stuff like that. So I'm gonna complain today about the bucks. Tom Brady brought it back. And then how in the hell does their defense let the best receiver in the NFL go down there twice and make two catches and then get a field goal? I mean, Brady did his job. He got them back. It's just crazy how the defense totally sucked. <clears throat> so I probably won't watch any more football this year. Me and my boys are out of it. I mean, he brought them back. It was a hell of a game too, man. He came back and just, they just lost it. It just sucks. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing right here all done. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna clean her up a little bit while she's in here. But other than that, just working on my baby today. All right, so it turns out that the alternator was the problem with her. So my brother is, like, you know, he's installing the new alternator. That's where it goes. Yeah, she was making that whining noise and they said the bearings were bad inside of it. So we got a new alternator for it. And we'll get it on there and see what it is. So um, thanks to the guy that told me where to look. I knew the sound was coming from there, but you know, I'm not a John Denver Kenny, but I'm glad that, you know, the guy on YouTube told me, told me about it. I mentioned his name earlier, told us where to, what it was. Sure enough, that's what it was, so good. She'll be quieted down quite a bit now and working, so. I'm thankful for YouTube. Not only do I make videos, but they save us on here too, a lot, so. All right, so my bro got the new alternator on. You know how we do. New belt, new alternator. We'll fire up here in a second. Let's listen. All right, we'll try it, see what it does. Yeah, the humming noise got out of it. She had a bad, real bad humming noise there. And they said it was the, the bearings inside the alternator. So that solved that problem. Now she sounds just like the other 8335R that we got. So that's sweet. And the alternator was $300. But we got it from Pasco. Yeah, the alternator was $300. But we got it from Pasco. They had one. It's 200 and I don't know, 210 amp or something like that. So that's good. It's just you need the power cleaner and the drills and everything. Um, if we had got that thing through John Deere, it probably would have been $1,000. So we actually saved quite a bit of money. 
Could have made a little better access door. Yeah, it could have. Perhaps maybe even a no need for a grease fitting up there. Exactly. Internally greased. Yeah. Something. Or they could have put a grease fitting on the on the side. Sticking out the side there. And it's hard to get in there to it even with the phone to record it. Phone turned the wrong way. This right here, they could have made like a flap so you could reach in or just fold it, pick it up out of the way or something. Yeah. I'd like to watch a John Deere mechanic do it. They probably got some kind of secret way that they've been trained to do it. It's a whole lot easier than we ain't thought of. so dusty I couldn't film um, dumping the beans at the pit they had me on a small pit number two and it was dusty so you're a way out all right so I'm putting ceramic coating on my tractor and this is what it looks like so far what it's done right here see the difference this is what I've done what I haven't done. I've done this right here just to try it out. That's a big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it. That really made a big, big, big difference. All right, so I just got done ceramic coating this beast. Tell me that ain't a shine. Just wipe it on, let it sit for a minute, and then you take a dry cloth and wipe out the, the access. Even did the rubber, you can do the rubber. Look how that turned out. Now I gotta clean the inside, windows. I'm actually gonna clean these fenders off real good and put ceramic on them too, and do you can do it all, actually. I'm gonna do the black. I gotta get some more. Um, them little, 
I went through, I had already used some. I probably used half of the one on my boat tires, but I still got a little under half left. I finished using the one that I had and then I used that much of that on that great big tractor. So I haven't done the top. I'll probably just do the side because the top of her is a little rough. You know, it, it seems like no cab ever holds up on any tractor, but I'm gonna do the side so it looks good and probably the black rubber around. Um, here's the back of it. I do gotta do this. I missed this spot right here, but as you can see, look how shiny that is in there. That is shiny. And you all saw the tracker before I did it, how faded it was. My phone has a crack in one of the cameras. It's got three cameras on. It's got a little crack, that's why you always see that glare. But that's what she looks like done. All right, I got it ceramic coated. Look how shiny she is. Now granted, she's a 2012 and she was dull. Even though we wax it, it's hard to keep this kind of paint shiny, but I just put ceramic coating on her. Let's see what you can see. And she is shiny. She came out perfect. Even the rubber did the rubber. I'm going to do the fenders and all the tanks and everything on her, battery boxes. I gotta clean the cab, clean her all up, but she is shiny. I'm gonna do the clean the fenders up and do them also. Very good looking. All right, I got it ceramic coated. Look how shiny she is. Now granted, she's a 2012 and she was dull. Even though we wax it, it's hard to keep this kind of paint shiny, but I just put ceramic coating on her. She is shiny. She came out perfect. Even the rubber did the rubber. I'm going to do the fenders and all the tanks and everything on her, battery boxes. I got to clean the cab, clean her all up, but she is shiny. Clean the fenders up and do them also. Very good looking. All right, so I got the cab clean, the windows clean, got our ceramic coated. I am going to do, I just cleaned the fenders off. I'm going to ceramic coat them tomorrow. Battery box, fuel tank. Um, Let's see, what else do I gotta do? Just touch up the frame. I'm gonna just touch that up with a spray bomb, but look at that. That ceramic coating really did a good job on that thing. I mean, a really good job. So she is done. And you'll probably see this twice because I, I do some and then I make a video and then I do some more, but got the windows all clean, cab clean. Everything's clean. Tires are dirty, but we washed her, but then she sat in the storage shed forever and got a little dusty, so I had to clean her off good. But uh, yeah, just do some touch up on the frame tomorrow. 
I'm gonna ceramic coat the rest of the, the fenders and the plastic stuff, because you can use it for that. Because look how it brought it out. I mean, it really brought that plastic out. I mean, that stuff looked like that turn marker up there. I might even hit that tomorrow. So just, uh, here, I'll show you what. This is what I use, got it off eBay. And we did our boat trailer rims and everything and i did my pickup rims and it it really held up for getting brake dust and everything off i mean it doesn't stick it shines them up and uh so but i see guys doing it through the tractors on tiktok so i figured i'd try it and it really brought this thing out and it's supposed to protect it too so when my brother gets his 8335r back hopefully we can do it on uh on her too so but that's it like subscribe share just working on my baby girl. Look at that shine. Oh my God. I might have to armor all these tires up just to get that, get that Instagram picture or something. All right. See you.